In today's video, I have a tip that is going to absolutely take your nickel 3-3 formation and nickel 3-3 defense to the complete next level. This tip is going to make your blitz concept out of nickel 3-3 an incredibly effective one and an incredibly consistent one, all right? If you want to get my entire nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, I think this defense is slowly making a comeback. There's a lot of value to it in terms of how it aligns against certain formations such as trips or bunch strong, for example. Um, this, this formation has a lot of pros and some cons, but it has mostly pros. And the, the whole blitz, the whole defense is based around a blitzing concept out of the play Nickel Blitz Zero. Now, this is in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. Again, if you want my full ebook on this, we actually dropped a massive update to it in our Patreon this week, and it's only $10 to become a member. It gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, and we have several formations within the Kansas City Chiefs already broke down as full ebooks. So if you want to get access to that, again, everything's in the Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of it. Now, what I wanted to talk about is this concept that uh, I really like out of Nickel Blitz Zero. So uh, we have auto flip defense play call off. We're going to be flipping this play. And the basic setup a lot of people have used all year is they pinch the D-line, they shift the linebackers across, and then they press and they basically create their, you know, their coverages, right? So it would look something like what you see on your screen. Now, this five-man blitz is really good. As you can see, it's going to a lot of times come through the A-gap. Now, right there, it didn't. And this is one of the... This is one of the big problems with this defense. It doesn't always commit. It's inconsistent, right? Consistently inconsistent. So how do we make it more consistent? Well, when you come out, one of the real beauties of this alignment is that this nickel corner here on the right side is in a blitz angle. So he's never going to follow anybody, all right? So all we're going to do is now just one simple tip. We're still going to shift them over. We're actually not going to blitz the linebacker on the left this time. You can. You don't have to. We're going to put him into a hard flat, um, just some kind of zone. It doesn't matter to me what zone you put him in. Uh, but we're going to put him into a hard flat. We're going to individually press on the left and put him in a third. Again, that's just a coverage thing. It doesn't really affect the blitz. And then we're going to put the nickel corner into a curl flat. Okay? So you see this is what the alignment looks like now. And we have a pretty good chance of this as you can see coming right through the a gap so we sent one last person right we sent one last person and we got a better result now you might ask what is like why did that happen okay it's actually a pretty good question and the answer is maybe a little simpler than you might think all we the the main purpose and the main reason why this worked is due to the alignment of the nickel corner. The nickel corner alignment affects the offensive line targeting. And as you can see, we are able to get an incredible, incredible pressure concept. So all we did was we didn't press the nickel corner, basically. If we press this guy, now what you'll see, this might actually come in, okay? So sometimes it does still come in. It just doesn't come in as consistently. So we stand about right here, as you see. Actually, that time it kind of came in. But a lot of times what happens and what I've noticed is that the the uh, when you press, this blitz becomes significantly worse. Okay? So you see here, it's picked up, and now they can, you know, throw an open play or whatever. Now, the cool part about this is you can apply this concept to almost any formation that you're going to face. So right there, that was bunch strong. All we had to do was basically not press the nickel corner and the blitz worked just fine. Let's talk about how this could apply to a formation like trips tied in. We're going to pinch, shift our D line across. And now this guy already is not pressed, right? So all we need to do again is not press. And then we're just going to put this nickel corner on an outside third. And we can literally run the defense like this. I really like to run the defense like, you know, maybe this, for example. And then, you know, you could do whatever you want to do as far as coverage adjustments, right? But what you'll see, because he's not pressed, that A gap comes in significantly more uh reliably okay more consistent makes the blitz better makes it more consistent the other cool part about nickel three three in my opinion is when you blitz five by uh this very simple act of you know putting that putting that uh not pressing the nickel corner so if i press the only thing that i did want to say is once you man him up you can if you back him off you can get that Again, though, notice how it affects the rest of the play. So what I would recommend doing is, and this is one of the beauties of the formation like nickel 3-3, what I would recommend doing is if you want to press, individually do it, okay? Individually do it. So what you'll see here, um, and if you really want to press, you can. It's not the end of the world. It's just going to make the blitz less consistent. But like, let's say we're playing trip side in and we want to press on the left. 
Okay, we're going to pinch, we're going to shift. Okay, from there, we have a couple of decisions. Do we want to send four? Do we want to send five? In this example, uh, we'll send, we'll send, actually, we'll send, um, we'll, we'll send four. Okay, so if I press, the only people that are going to press are the slot over there on the left, the outside guy. And then these two guys, of course, are our safeties in this defense. So they can't really press technically. So what we're going to do is we're going to man that guy up onto the circle receiver. And then now we have a couple different options in terms of things we could do. We could actually blitz the safety from depth, which is one of the most underrated things people like don't even realize that you can do this year. Or you could create a roll coverage like this. Okay, but what you'll see is now you have press coverage over there on that left hand side, but you still have a very effective a gap blitz coming in over there on the left because that nickel corner is not pressed up. So I think this is a super, super important uh, little tactic if you guys want to uh, create, you know, better defenses, more effective defenses. And this five man um, out of here is, is darn near unblockable when you don't press that nickel corner. So you see here, I don't press the nickel corner. They block the running back. Doesn't matter. Comes right through the middle. Okay. It's not just against uh, trips and bunch that this does well. I would be remiss if I didn't show you this concept uh, against gun bunch. So we'll talk, we'll, we'll cover that real quick. And then I did want to show it against gun spread. So uh, again, shift, move these guys over. The only thing you can't do is press this guy. That's it. Okay. Um, if you press him, it, in my opinion, it, it really does significantly mess up the blitz. So uh, we're not going to press him. So what we're going to do instead though, is we're going to press the outside guys. So as you see, we press the outside guys and then we're just going to put him in a curl flat. Okay. That's it. Defense completely set up. If you wanted to, you could put this guy in an outside third over here on the left. Four-man pressure concept. As you can see, a lot of times it comes in. Didn't end up coming in there. Um, we've obviously ran this split several times in practice mode, uh, so keep that in mind. Another thing that I find uh, with this is with some – with. With this blitz, there's really two trains of thought uh, in terms of where to stand. What I would say is it's up to you. I like to have this little green bar over my head. I think it helps. And as you see right there, I'm right. <laughs> or at least in that clip, I was right. But another thing that you can do uh, in terms of where you want to use her on this blitz is you could stand right, basically like right here, so that essentially you're going to kind of swerve in like this and try to glitch that tackle. I find that to be much less consistent than it was pre-patch. Since the patch, I feel like that disengage on the right is no longer as uh, good of a disengage. So I think it's better all in all for you to stand about right here, just try to drag these guys to the right. And as you see, I mean, it just it's a really good blitz. It's really hard to pick up because of the fact that we're not pressing that nickel corner. Okay, uh, we're going to last formation I want to apply this concept to is a two by two spread set uh, because most two by two spread sets are going to run through their slot receivers and most people don't understand the, the tactics of defending five wide so uh, or spread. So again, pinch, shift your linebackers to the left. As you see, this is what we get pre-snap. So all we need to do is we're just not going to press this guy. We're just, that's, that's literally it. So we're going to man him up onto the slot receiver. We're going to man this guy up onto the outside receiver and we're going to put this guy into a cloud flat. I think this is the best spread defense in the game. And then on the left side, we can press, we can press on the outside too. If we wanted to press both outside guys, we certainly could do that. Um, you know, I like to do a outside third a lot on the solo guy. But anyways, what you'll see is this comes right through the middle and you have a really, really good blitz. I hope this video helped you if you are a person that likes to run the nickel 3-3 blitz or if you saw this video and you're like, well, now I'm going to run the 3-3 blitz because it's that really it's really that powerful. It's a great defense. Um, and if you can actually understand the little ins and outs of why it's good and what makes it good, I think it will literally take it to the next level for you guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to get my entire nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, link is in the description. Just dropped a massive update to it. Join the Patreon. $10 gets you access to all all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. Head down to the description and go check out the Patreon at the link down below.